Hello friends, in this video I'm going to change the look of the, our dashboard, so I am in the movie app and here we are in the dashboard, we have the profile because we have installed the Laravel Jetstream, I'm going to change the dashboard and I have find this in the github tidewind components, here we have a dashboard, is with uh, Tidewind CSS, Alpine.js you can find and you can uh, work with that I'm going to open the source and the layouts the master layout and we need to add the Alpine.js as well so I'm going to open the terminal the tab, new tab, sorry and Alpine Yes, dot that dot that and here go to the documentation installation and I'm going to add just like this or you can uh, hit the npm install so if I copy that and Paste it here. It's going to install Alpine.js and we need to import that in our JS uh, file, app.js. Okay. And that's it. Now here we see we need this uh, kind of master blade. If we go here, we have the layouts and we have the app, app blade. And we have a jet banner here after the body. Okay, and we have this div. I'm going to copy that one and uh, add it here. Okay, next thing we need to add the layout sidebar. Here we have the layout navigation menu. Okay, next thing is this uh, div. Copy that and uh, I'm going to add it here and close it this is for the header or no sorry this is the close at the end so okay and we have these tips before the body which mean before here I'm going to and close the first one and the second one. The mine is there. Uh, sorry, so we have the mine, and I'm going to remove this mine we have here. Okay. And uh, I think we are okay, just we need this layout sidebar and also the header. So if we go into the sidebar, this is the sidebar, I'm going to copy that. And uh, here I'm going to side the resources views i'm going to create new folder name it components and then new file i'm going to name it a uh, sidebar yeah so sidebar 
dot blade dot php and I'm going to paste that uh, div there just we need to add a row div and now here okay and uh, here where we have the library navigation just add x and the uh, sidebar okay now if i come here and refresh yeah we have this kind of thing here one more thing is uh, the header so layouts header and uh, copy this one and also i'm going to go again to the master and the header is after the flex call overflow hidden i'm going to create one more for the header dot blade dot php add a div row div and paste that in uh, i think uh, we have the header wrote yeah that's okay so remove that hit save close this one and here we can add x header hit save and uh, go to our application and here is the or dashboard now we need to add here and I think this one is going to be before here refresh yeah uh, go to the browser and run npm run watch Yes, a refresh. Oh, if I open the Firefox, movie app the test, and go to the dashboard, and here is how it's going to look. What is the problem here? And the problem I think is because we added the div here, so in the sidebar, if I uh, remove the first div here and this one, hit save, yeah, that's it. now we have uh, our dashboard look more nice and uh, that's it for this video in the next one i'm going to create uh, models and migrations for, for our application. See you in the next one friends, enjoy and all the best.